Hi, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I had to get some more watermelon slices, y'all. Y'all, this is to die for. Okay? This is to die for. This should be sold out. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It smells like, you know, fresh watermelon. Well, not fresh watermelon. It's a sweet, um, it smells like pink watermelon with some other stuff in it. And I think it has like, let me see, fresh cut watermelon, pink sea salt, and sweet sunshine. It smells like, um, a summery type of pink watermelon. Like that pink watermelon candle. This is what it smells like, but it smells summery and, um, almost aquatic but not quite. This is really good. It's very, very bright. It's like very juicy and bright. And I had to get a couple more, y'all. Okay. Okay, I got Wisteria Garden. And they're so fancy. This Bridgerton line is very, very fancy and luxurious. Wisteria Garden, this, I'm going to be honest with you. This smells very, very nice. But the soap formula does not do it justice that candle y'all have you smelled the wisteria garden candle good god it smells so good um sweet rosewood english rain and lemon petals this thing smells so good it's like how could you not get a wisteria garden what is it candle it smells really good. But this, I got the hand soap because we do a lot of hand washing. And I finally, finally, finally got the strawberry banana smoothie. Okay, hand soaps. Very cute with the unicorn. And it smells like strawberry banana. But it doesn't smell like really creamy at all. I'm not one for drinking smoothies. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if they're supposed to put like a little milk in there or what, but it smells like strawberry and banana. And it smells very, very nice. Very pretty. It makes me want a strawberry banana milkshake or something. These are the notes. Freshly picked strawberries, creamy banana, vanilla bean yogurt. Now, see, it doesn't smell creamy at all. Doesn't smell creamy, but it smells really good, like strawberry and banana. I picked up two more Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. Y'all, Diamond of the Season smells so doggone good as a body mist. I don't know if they have a perfume for it. I think they do. You don't need the perfume. My God, this thing smells so good. So... In total, I have three of these. One for the car. One for like spraying around in the house. One for me to spray on myself. This smells really good though. This smells crazy, crazy good. I just love it. It's addictive. It's like the most charming. This is going to be... This is something that you definitely got to have in your collection. Because it smells that good it has sparkling peach spring daffodil and radiant jasmine this smells like it's got something extra in it it smells it just smells too good like a high-end perfume okay not like a designer perfume this smells more like a niche fragrance okay that you got to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on there maybe even a thousand dollars that's how good this thing smells you have to get it and then we have Tropodelic. I got another one of these. And this to me, again, smells like a mirage. It just smells like a mirage. And it's very, very strong. You don't even have to get the perfume in it. This one is very strong. You get a lot of compliments. Beautiful, beautiful package. Beautiful. I forgot what kind of flowers these are on here. Let me see. Irresistible Passion Flower, Lang Le Lang, and Misty Rainforest. This thing smells so doggone good, y'all. I had to get some more of it. 
Okay, so before I go onto the candles, y'all, I'm going to do these few wildflowers that I got. I got a diamond of the season wildflower. Okay, so this is going to my bathroom in the room here. And once again, the notes are, let me see, sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. Okay. Yeah, so this is going in my bathroom in my room. Okay, so they have something new called Clean House Vibes. Y'all, I opened this wildflower up and I smelled it. Let me tell y'all what this smells like. It smells very clean. Okay. It smells like lemon pine salt or lemon fabuloso. And then you have like a bleach Lysol cleaner or a bleach uh, Clorox cleaner for like all-purpose cleaner or something. And then you have the laundry going on in the background. Yeah, you're doing some laundry and you can smell the tide or the gain or whatever like very um, fragrant laundry detergent that you use. This is what it smells like. It's a very, very clean scent. It's so strong. I mean, when I go, I'm going to get some more of this. Because it really smells like a clean house. Like you really clean up the place. These are the notes. It's fresh lavender, sparkling bergamot, and mint blossom. Okay. it's it. The notes sound clean. Okay. So you put all of them together. It's like, okay, lavender is a laundry scent. Bergamot is another laundry scent and a citrus, so you can, you can clean with that. And then mint. I don't know. I don't use spearmint for cleaning, but I, I guess I can. And then I had to get another sun drench linen for my children's um, room. Okay, sun drench linen. This is like one of the best wildflower oils that they have. Okay, because... It works the full 45 days or however long it lasts. However long the oil stays in the glass bulb, it stays, it works for that long. You can smell it's very fragrant and it's strong. Okay? And it's very, very relaxing. It smells very clean. It's cool, cotton, crisp apple, and soft musk. Okay? They have this in the candle form too. Um... They also have this on, like, um, if, if you want to do, like, automatic orders, like, once a month or whatever. They have this available, too, online. I always get these. Yeah, so this was Styria Garden. Okay, this is, these are the, um, this is the package in here. It's very, very luxurious and royal looking. Okay, Bridgerton line. It's just so luxurious. Um, look at that lid. Very fancy. Um, y'all, this candle smells so doggone good. I, I don't understand how, um, this should be sold out. Wisteria Garden should definitely be sold out. It's a floral type of thing, but it's really, really good. Um, sweet rosewood, English rain, and lemon petals. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a laundry detergent. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But this smells absolutely amazing okay i think this is one of the mother's day candles right here blush amber and peony y'all you have got to get this candle okay it's a plain lid this is the look at the look at the beautiful I think this is one of the Mother's Day packagings. Okay. This thing here smells like a very high-end perfume. I can't put my hand on it. But it smells familiar. It smells really, really, really good. You know what this 
smell like? Hold on, this smells like a repackage. This smells like a repackage of something. Let me see. Jo Malone peony and blush suede. It smells kind of smoky too because of the amber, but it smells so familiar. Like one of the um, like one of um, Bath and Body Works Halloween um scents or something. I got a sweet red mango, y'all. This right here is sold out all the time. And this probably what took them so long to um put this order together is because they was waiting on this. But this, I was only able to get one. Okay? <laughs> it's limited everybody to just one candle. Um, ripe mango, sunny peach, and pineapple juice. It's a basic lid. I think it's white barn. Yep. Oh, yes, y'all. It's sweet, y'all. Mm. Yes. No wonder this thing is all sold out. And then it has, like, this looks like there's some raised designs on it. You see, you see if you look at it? It looks like something splashed on it. It's like a marble watercolor type of thing. Yellowish, white. That's the design for this one. Okay, so I think it's like Pacific Islander month or something. The month of May. And every year, the month of May, they come out with these. Okay? These new scents or existing scents. But it was just made by a Pacific Islander or whatever. Um, this one is the one I think everybody likes. Rather than the rest of them. Bamboo and eucalyptus. I smell the other three. The ginger one was okay. And it was kind of light. The sesame one. The, there was something with sesame in it. And it smelled too nutty. And then the cherry blossom one was like okay. And then there was a third one. What was, what was that other one? I forgot what that other one was. But it was like, this is like the best one out of all of them. This one smells like you're in a spa by the beach. It smells like a friggin' spa. And it looks like one too. This says, in this fragrance, I celebrate the strength. Oh, Asian Pacific Islanders or some, some something like that. This, within this fragrance, I celebrate the strength, symbolism, and... Tranquility of lush bamboo and the key element in Asian gardens and culture. Linda Song. And designed by Kenneth Iwata Chain. All right. Sound like karate. No offense. Black lids, y'all. Black Bath and Body Works lids. And... Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells so relaxing. This smells like you're in a spa by the beach. This smells so good. And this is the design all the way around. Okay. These are the notes for bamboo eucalyptus. Bamboo, watery eucalyptus, and garden thyme. Now, you can smell the garden lime my bad you could smell the lime and the bamboo but the eucalyptus is watery it's not strong so it's well blended and it smells very relaxing mm, yes y'all i see why everybody likes these out of all four of them and i got a mahogany coconut this is white barn edition um, the notes are creamy coconut, mahogany woods, English lavender. Oh my God, it smells so good. White barn lid. Oh my gosh. Bath and Body Burps, white barn. They do, they do lavender very well and mahogany very well. And the mahogany, it's like mahogany apple. 
mahogany vanilla, mahogany coconut. It is so divine, mahogany coconut. It's so smooth and creamy and lightly masculine, very lightly. It's just, this one is so good. And it's blue all the way around. Okay. Okay, so I got sea salt and sails. This is like the um, Neroli and... I think Neroli and sea salt from last year. Hold on. Okay, I take that back. It's not the same as sea salt and Neroli. This is something different. This is just sea salt and sails. I had to get this one because the packaging is too cute. It is adorable. You have the nautical lines going by. And then you have the two fishies. Okay, so cute. And this, the lid looks like this. Beautiful. Bath and Body Works, y'all. Y'all do such a good job with them, with the lids. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good when I took the lid off. Oh my word, it smells so good. Wait a minute, we had sea salt and sails last year. Mediterranean sea sailing or something like that. That's what this was. I remember this. I know I remember this from somewhere. Um, these are the notes. It's ocean sea spray, aloe vera nectar, and driftwood. The driftwood is not too strong. You know, driftwood could be very colony and masculine. It's perfect. It smells so, so good. And aquatic. It smells like, um, there's like a fruit drink in there. Almost like a citrusy, juicy, a very juicy fruit drink. But, and then it has aquatics in it, like um, an ocean, um, watery scent. Okay, Surf Shop. This one, y'all, smells really, really relaxing, and it's aquatic. And I love my aquatic candles. I love aquatic stuff. Surf Shop. Look at, it has, like, the ocean... And then, like, the bubbles, I guess, from the ocean and the salts. The palm tree with the surfboard right there. That's so cute. It doesn't make you, like, who's ready for summer? Who's ready? <laughs> and then you have waves in the lid. Look at that. Very cute. I like the color of the wax, though. Look at that. Blue. And oh my God, it smells so good, y'all. This smells amazing. It smells like mm, fresh and clean. It, let me see. Oceanside birch, sparkling waves, and summer spruce. Oh my gosh, it's not even... Those notes are, are more like... Uh, masculine notes and it doesn't even smell like that it just smells so fresh it's not masculine too masculine at all it's just fresh and aquatic and oh my gosh breezy I should have got more of these I'm going to kick myself <laughs> I should have got more of these Everybody likes Surf Shop. Everybody's been talking about this a lot. It's really, really nice. I should have got more than one. So, if the sale's still going on, I go back to the mall tomorrow. I'll, I'll get another one. Because this smells really good. I'm telling you. Okay. So, this one says Summer Boardwalk. Now, I got some candles in these. I got some of these. Um... Summer Boardwalk, y'all, it smells like caramel, creamy, vanilla, toffee, popcorn, heaven. Okay? It smells so good. I only got one. I got a lot of these. Um, it's really good. Okay? These are hoarded a lot. 
that same wavy lid. Oh, my Lord. This is not to be confused with Wicked Apple or nothing like that. This thing here is creamy for real. Okay, it's creamy. Caramel glazed popcorn, warm toffee, taffy apples. It's taffy apples. And salty sweet cream. It smells so good, y'all. Oh, my Lord. Very gourmand. Oh, you can smell the apple. The creamy, the creamy, creamy. It smells so good. Creamy, buttery popcorn. Y'all, once again, this is hoarded a lot during the summertime. So, don't be surprised if it runs out. But anyway, y'all, that's the end of my haul. What's coming up next? Okay, Mother's Day. They got that Mother's Day tote. And I'm like, oh my God. Brightest Bloom. Smells like, um, it has the same DNA. Almost of the Fall and Bloom. But I like Fall and Bloom better. Fall and Bloom. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten the, the Mother's Day tote bag thing yet. Um... The sass. Okay. Semi-annual sale, Bath and Body Works. Okay. Some people are saying that it's starting early on May 29th. Okay. Um, and then some people are saying that it's starting on June 3rd, which is on a Monday. Then some people are saying that it's starting on June 1st, which is on, I believe, a Saturday. Okay, so it's like pin the tail on the SAS date. Okay, so it's like, I don't know. But what? let me tell you how you can tell when the SAS starts. Though. Okay, y'all, so that's the end of my haul. The next video might be, I don't know, the SAS video or something. I don't know. Or if they bring some more summer stuff out, I might do that. Thanks for watching.